Okay, this video is a little different because I'm standing up, first of all, and second of all, I'm talking about aliens. I don't really talk about aliens. I don't think I ever talked about aliens, but there are recent UFOs being shot down over America and Canada, so I wanted to talk about it. The internet is actually just going bonkers, absolutely hay wild over this. They are going absolutely crazy. They are crazy. And I just wanted to talk about what was going on. People are actually starting to believe that aliens are real because of all these UFOs, but after there has been four UFOs that has been shot down and some of them were identified, there was one that was obviously identified, but I'll get into the UFOs that were recently shot down in a bit. In my opinion, I don't think aliens are real. Looking at all these evidence that I, and articles that I have read upon, I have came to a conclusion that animal, uh, oh, animals, I've came to a conclusion that aliens aren't real. In my opinion, all of these UFOs were shot down and they were revealed to be like, like a balloon. It just doesn't make sense about how they could be aliens because why, how would a balloon get from, get from a, a whole nother planet to here? It just doesn't make any sense. The first UFO that has been shot down that was identified was a Chinese spy balloon that was shot down over the Atlantic Ocean. And it was bigger than the Statue of Liberty. I don't know why the balloon had to be that big. It was a huge balloon with a crap ton of surveillance equipment. I don't know why you need that much surveillance equipment. They just sent out a balloon to spy on us. And I, I honestly don't know why it had to be bigger than the Statue of Liberty. It's more than 200 feet tall. And then after it was shot down, China China claims that the balloon was a weather device and the US was overreacting. You can argue whether or not they're telling the truth. I'm going to assume that they're probably lying. They mainly shot that down because it was so it was so high up and it could interfere with air traffic. That's why all of these were shot down. That's the main reason why all of these were shot down, because they, they could interfere with air traffic. Another reason why they shot down the Chinese spy balloon was because it was spy equipment. They were spying on civilians and that's that's not cool, bro. After that, the US has increased their radar to detect smaller airborne objects. So that's why many of these UFOs were eventually detected. So the second UFO that was shot down was over in Alaska and the UFO was shot 10 miles off the coast of Alaska. The Canadian prime minister ordered the UFO to be shot down and it eventually was. They're actually not sure what the object is, but they just saw that, oh, well, this object interfered with our air traffic, so shoot that down. It was most likely not related to the Chinese spy balloon. Once I saw all of these UFOs being shot down, I thought that all of these balloons were traced back to the Chinese spy balloons. I thought all of these were coming from China. I thought they, I thought China just sent a bunch of Clash of Clans balloons to fly over America just to spy on them. Hey, look, a balloon parade! I think that's an air attack. No way! But there's no evidence for any, any of these UFOs being traced back to the Chinese spy balloon. There's only one. There's only one UFO that was shot down recently that was connected to a Chinese spy balloon. The UFO over Alaska though, it was 40 to 41,000 feet above ground. That could obviously interfere with air traffic. Like I said, it was most likely not related to the Chinese spy balloon. They were not sure what the object was. They didn't know what the purpose was, but it was a balloon and it was the size of a small car. This next one was a UFO shot down over Canada. I feel like it was definitely not a balloon. There's no way it could be a balloon, in my opinion, because it was a hexagonal shape. They 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 looked at it and they were like, oh, this is a hexag hexagon. The balloons aren't a hexagonal shape, I don't think. I tried looking it up, like what shape are weather balloons, because I thought most of these are weather balloons but i don't think that this is a balloon because it's a, it's a shape of a hexagon but correct me if i'm wrong this ufo because i don't think this is a balloon flew 20,000 feet above ground and this could have also interfered with air traffic and it might have had surveillance capabilities but they they didn't have groundbreaking evidence that it was there was barely any information about the ufo shot over canada though i think they're still trying to retrieve it and then the last UFO was shot down over Lake Huron. It was actually first detected all the way back in Montana, and then it was later discovered in Lake Huron. This one was also 20,000 feet above ground. It 
also could have interfered with air traffic. Like I said, they were all shot down because it interfered with air traffic. It was a octagonal shape. It was an octagonal. The last one was hexagonal. This one's octagonal. And balloons aren't in any of those shapes. They're round. And there's also strings hanging off of the shape, but there was no, pay there was no payload. It wasn't carrying anything. It was just a octagonal UFO with strings attached to it. This one didn't seem to have any surveillance equipment. So two of them didn't look like they had surveillance equipment. One of them obviously had surveillance equipment and it had evidence that was shipped from China. And another one that might have had surveillance equipment but the ufo shot down over lake huron might have been a weather balloon in my opinion i don't know if those if the two that we just went over are balloons because there were hexagonal shapes or octagonal shapes again correct me if i'm wrong but i don't know if balloons could be an octagonal or hexagonal shapes it just doesn't really make sense those are the four recent ufos that have been shot down over america most officials have said that it might have been weather balloons other than the first one because that was from china i don't think that they're ufos or extraterrestrial ufos i don't think they're extraterrestrial ufos they're obviously ufos but not extraterrestrial i feel like extraterrestrial ufos would have just moved out of the way if they saw the missile coming like if they could like come all the way from their planet to our planet and not know if a projectile is about to hit them, let alone a, a big ah uh, missile coming to their way, they could have moved out the way. I don't think extraterrestrial UFOs could have came here by balloons. You, there, you, there's balloons in the sky and then there's already people thinking like, oh, that must be an alien. That must be an alien. This is just my take. I don't think they're UFOs. It would be cool for most people. Oh my God, if I, if I just found out aliens were real, I would probably freak out and cry myself to sleep. But that was just my take on it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. We're gonna play tag, but instead of using our hands, we're using dumbbells. <laughs>